Good day everyone, I'm meteorologist Adam Kolpak. We've got a pretty decent storm system off the coast, but it is moving mainly towards California. In the pink, there's a winter storm warning in effect through 8 p.m. Many parts of Siskiyou County above 3,500 feet. However, down towards the Mount Shasta City area, the winter storm warning is in effect through 11 p.m. Either way, the snow will be winding down overnight tonight and the greatest accumulation will be above 5,000 feet. But even at 3,500 feet and above, there's a potential there for four to eight inches of snow. Down towards Mount Shasta City, two to five inches will be possible. And yes, local, uh, locally higher accumulations are possible as well. Wind advisory through 9 p.m. for the Shasta Valley and also around Ashland here in the Rogue Valley with a south and southeast wind from 15 to 35 miles per hour could have a gust around 45 miles per hour as well. It's a double barreled low pressure system here and they're both moving off to the south and southeast. So most of the moisture later tonight will be heading towards California. After that, we have high pressure building in for Wednesday. So that means more sunshine and warmer temperatures for the coast. Lows will be in the 40s. The chance for areas of rain and showers, especially this evening. And then tomorrow we still have a possibility for a few showers and also a slight chance for thunderstorms. Highs will be in the 50s overall, 55 for Brookings. As we move inland, lows will be in the 20s and 30s. I know I've got a lot of text here, but just want to try and get over or at least talk about everything here. A south and southeast wind from 10 to 35 miles per hour, but diminishing this evening. And that was the wind advisory there in the Shasta Valley, also up through parts of the Rogue Valley. And as I said, Mount Shasta City could see anywhere from two to five inches of wet snow and there could be some locally higher amounts. For Siskiyou Pass and Lake of the Woods, a trace to maybe two to three inches of snow possible tonight. Outside of that, we'll just see rain showers, mainly for the lower valleys. However, even in the Shasta Valley, there's a possibility for some wet snow showers. For tomorrow, temperatures will be in the 40s and 50s. We'll have clouds around, possibly mixing in with sunshine, and still a chance for some rain and possibly wet snow showers, especially during the morning, but even into the afternoon hours, there is a possibility. East of the Cascades, lows will be in the 20s to around 30. We have a chance for rain and snow showers and up to an inch is possible in the valleys. Uh, the Crater Lake, though, could have a little bit more than that because they've got the elevation there advantage. Temperatures in the 30s and 40s tomorrow. We'll have clouds around, maybe mixing in with sunshine. I still put in a chance for some scattered rain and snow showers. Little or no snow accumulation expected in most valley locations. Rogue Valley. Showers possible Tuesday. Notice we do warm up with more sunshine on Wednesday. A chance for rain later in the day on Thursday and a chance for showers Friday and Saturday. Notice the trend in temperatures. We are warming up through the 60s. Lows will be in the 30s and 40s. Klamath Basin, you have highs in the 40s and 50s, but towards the end of the seven day, 62 looks pretty good for Monday and lows chilly starts 20s and 30s. Again, a chance for some rain and snow showers on Tuesday. A chance for some snow showers and possibly rain showers Tuesday from Mount Shasta City. We'll have highs in the 40s and 50s and still a chance for showers on Friday and Saturday. But you notice the trend in the temperatures going up from 42 on Tuesday into the 60s by the weekend possibly. And for the coast, showers are possible Tuesday. Another chance for rain on Thursday. A chance for showers on Friday and Saturday. Highs in the 50s and 60s. Lows mainly in the 40s.